Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is a beer courtesy of John. Thank you so much. This is District 96, no recollection. Um, Nelson Pale Ale, 5.2%. So uh, no recollection, obviously a political reference when you're before Senate. No recollection. I or I cannot recall. I cannot recall. I can't say yes. I can't say no. I don't know. So uh, really fun uh, political uh, witty statements there. But uh, by the way, the one of the brewers at District 96 is a former brewer of New England Beer Company, which I just found out. So that's really cool. I guess part of the reason why we're having such amazing beer from them. So uh, happy beer from them. So uh, beer comes in a medium to light gold color, uh, medium, to medium plus haze, not as opaque as the other ones that I had. Um, let's get the rumble. You get a little bit of like, I mean, it's Nelson. So there's a little bit of like white wine, grapey quality. But for me, it's a lot of mostly like orange and grapefruit pith and peel. A little bit of doughy sweetness. It smells fantastic. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. On the palate. It sort of sells you a little bit on um, more Nelson quality. It's not a huge punch in your face kind of like, oh, wow, this is like gooseberries and, and white wine and, and a Concord grape peel that you get in some of the Trillium beers. Um, if anything, maybe it reminds me a little bit more of a Hill Farmstead kind of beer. This beer in general is really nice and soft. It's really delicate. It's a well-executed 5.2% pale ale. It's a really nice kind of like light malt quality there that is driving of um, a light doughiness, a little bit of breadiness, but then there is a little bit of like this like um, crisp kind of grain character. Um, tastes a little bit like, you know, just biting into a uh, straight pale malt. A little bit of grain character on the on the palate and that pushes the beer's flavor a little bit more. Uh, this one doesn't really have that kind of quick drying flavor that was huge in the Galaxy one and then still there in the uh, double IPA. Um, this one is the most complete beer of the bunch. Again, I did Pale Ale, IPA, Double IPA. This one is arguably the most cohesive of the bunch. Really well executed. I just really like the dance of soft, balanced Nelson character. Um, you get a little bit of white grape. You get a good amount of grapefruit. Like, like white grapefruit is what really I taste in. But mostly, not flesh, but peel gentle, refreshing Nelson character. It's not a huge juice bomb. It's a really beautiful, light, delicate malt quality to this one. Really nice and dry. On the back end, you get a little bit of aftertaste of um, some of the hops, a little bit of that grain quality that I was talking about, maybe some of the water treatment as well. So uh, fantastic beer. Uh, boom, another world-class one. Let's go with... Love in this one. Um, 97 minus. Sure, 97 minus. All world-class beers. Um, this is definitely one of the consistently most amazing New York new breweries that I've had recently, if that makes any sense. Um, killing it. I can't wait to see what other beers uh, you're pumping out, John. Uh, this is going to be really exciting because the, these are the early brews, and when you guys really hone it in real good, I mean, I can't wait to see uh, what those beers are going to be, but all of the beers have been super amazing. Thank you so much, John. District 96, the hype is there. Later. Cheers.